Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review of these. I'm gonna call it now. I think these things right here are gonna be beastly, dude. And this is just from a try on. I cannot believe how good these feel, which is weird because when I saw the thing unveiled, the all three shoes, I was like, man, they're doing too much. But then when I felt it, I was like, okay, I get it. Now, before we get into the shoes real quick though, uh, a lot of people have been hitting me up about this hoodie, asking me where it's from. This is actually not something that's available. It's, it's a sample that I created. Well, I think literally create it but like I came up with the idea and I'm gonna just let you guys in on a small secret right now I just haven't officially announced anything yet but uh, I did start or I'm going to start I'm in the process of starting a clothing company or a brand Flame you, Hotman. and it's gonna be nostalgia driven so stuff like this this is gonna be from one portion of the apparel side and this is the sneakerhead sense area or aspect and everything the clothing brand is called sense apparel you can follow the social media accounts on uh, Instagram nothing's on there yet but you know once we get the rest of the samples from the first launch in then I'll start posting things and you know curating some content I just wanted to highlight since when so you've been a sneakerhead since some people since 1988 since the Air Jordan 3 are there gonna be other shoes on there yeah but there's also gonna be a lot of other stuff too when we'll dive into that later on so stay tuned now as for the shoes these guys right here you have to understand what came before this kind of like built up to this moment for Nike basketball which is really cool so while I can't go all the way to the beginning because I don't have them anymore unfortunately I don't hoard shoes I get rid of them I move them out I don't have space for it even though I would love to keep everything but the flight pods that I feel like is the beginning of this however stuff like this you can see that midsole super close to the ground right you're literally this far off the floor epic containment everything like that go from that like the 2k3s okay another one where you can't see it because it's double lasted and everything but the midsole is super thin you're super close to the floor tons of cushion still though epic a lot of people's fan favorites kobe started in this shoe with nike brand before his signature line popped off we will talk about these soon okay so stay tuned for that but you got stuff like this the 2k4 this was not in the alpha project that i am aware of i can't find any alpha project branding on this so if it was correct me if i'm wrong but I don't see anything on here that is even a reference to the Alpha Project like these other shoes, the five dots. This is the Nike Zoom BB. Again, another fan favorite, one of the best of all time. Again, very similar to something like this. Without these, this is impossible. Then you have to include the system stuff where you can remove the guts of the shoe and replace them or whatever. And they've even done it on LeBron's, they've done it on further Kobe's, all that stuff. All of this that came before this shoe right here, this feels like a culmination of all of this shit. It's like the f***ing Avengers of sneakers. Assemble. However, you fast forward to 2021, you've got this Greater Than series. This is the first launch of them. This is the GT Cut. So there's three shoes. I thought that this is gonna be a super gimmick, okay? So when I heard about it, I was like, whatever. That's a lot of Zoom Air and a lot of shoes. I felt instantly sorry for the Cosmic Unity. So I was just like, man, those things are gonna be an afterthought in two seconds. Anyways, these guys right here are the Cut version. Then there's going to be a Run version. And then there's going to be a Jump version. And I just, I really can't wait to try all three after trying these on. Like I put these on and I was like, bruh, I feel like I'm wearing a superhero shoe dude i put them on they got the weirdest toe down view though they make your foot look like they're going i just felt like i was instantly fast even though i was just standing there i felt like i was the flash in the speed force you're like sheldon now i'm going to the grand canyon to scream in frustration i'm back maybe it was weird like i haven't felt something like that made me like dude i cannot wait to play in this since stuff like this stuff that i just showed you know like the old the Alpha Project days, where they tried all kinds of weird stuff and they were hoping, oh, this is gonna be the future and stuff. And some of it stuck, some of it didn't. And again, they just kind of like turned it into this. And these are fucking wild, man. Like this traction, first off, I don't know if this is gonna work. I've heard great things already from other people on you know, the interwebs. And I am really wanting to try this inside instead of outside, but I'm also so excited to try these that like I'm like ready to get, just go. I, like I wanna hop on my bicycle and ride to my park and go hoop outside, but I don't wanna ruin these, so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But the traction just looks crazy. From what I've been told, it works really well. I'll be surprised if it's you know Kobe 9, Jordan 28, Jordan 1, like that kind of goat level traction. But if it is, I'm totally here for that then you can see right here where the torsional plate is it's a plate and it's a window which is really cool they've done this many times before like one of the first times that I just remember right off the top the hyper ref the original one and the ones that Kyrie used to rock they had a window just like this it showed the zoom air and everything like that however this one states zoom strobel because that's what's in here but like the Air Jordan 18 and the foam posit one it's not just full length zoom there's also an additional zoom unit in the heel so it's a double stack back there more cushion for the pushing which is awesome because you 
you are sitting right there on the floor, man. Like these things are mad low to the ground, just like all the other shoes I just showed you. It's incredible. It's incredible that you can get that low and have this much cushion in a shoe. You don't feel like you're on the floor, like the Cosmic Unity. The Cosmic Unity felt like a Kyrie, but with KD's cushioning system inside of it, where you're like low to the ground, but you got full length zoom, so it's cool. This does not feel like that. This feels like a normal ass shoe, but it's not. It's really weird. And I think that has everything to do with this guy. So again, I pulled out the Kobe 8 system, the LeBron 11, the Kobe 9s. Shoes like that, the Jordan 2011, the Kobe 7s, they started this wave as far as this implementation, even though something like the Flight Posit, the original, okay, that shoe started this, where like the midsole was a removable insole. It was polyurethane. It was fairly thick. It had embedded heel and forefoot zoom air in them. You were on the floor, but they were uncomfortable. And this guy right here is just crazy because like, it's hard to see when it's just sitting there like that. But when you put it to where like your forefoot would be a little bit more stable, you can see what this thing is doing. It's, it's the carbon zoom X stuff, you know, the 4% and all of that. Sh Even the new Pegasus have the curved zoom. So it's just like really weird. Cause this is what the zoom air is doing inside the shoe. Okay. So the full length strobel is curved like this. And then they put on this drop in, which is very thick in the front, very thin in the back. So you get cushion up front, nice, you know, stableness and everything to make up for the shape that they made the, the interior with. Forces you on your forefoot, proper stride. But yeah, man, I think that this is crazy. This is actually React. So you get triple layer cushion. You have React right underneath your foot. Most of it's in the forefoot. This area back here, again, is very thin, nice and thick up front. And then inside here, full length, zoom strobel, man. And then under the heel again, an additional zoom unit, just in case you wanted some extra. Cause zoom air is my favorite cushion of all time, man. And it's just crazy. Like, look at this. You take, you take this out, you got nothing in here, man. Just like all of them dropping shoes. Now the upper is really interesting because it feels like this red section, this like fly knit looking stuff. I thought it was fly knit. I was told that it's not. I was not told what it was, but I was told that it's not fly knit. However, it feels like fly knit. It looks like fly knit, but unlike previous versions of knit like this or like this where it's, so crispy and so infused with glue. This is not, this is by itself. It's glued in certain areas where it's attached to like the midsole. And uh, for the most part, it is free floating and it feels super strong and it's backed instead of by nylon, like right up on that where it's like glued onto it. It's actually backed by this neoprene kind of build, which is super interesting because neoprene is pretty strong. And where was this back then? This feels mad comfortable. These, while they're awesome shoes, the uppers are not knit, they're glue. So yeah, I just think it's super cool, man. I love it. Again, the neoprene stuff, you can see it down the toe, down the tongue. It's got plenty of padding in there, but it's got hella ventilation too. Like there's literal holes in this stuff. Even in the forefoot, you can see right through that thing. Airflow for days, they feel fast. I didn't even get into all the support features like these things. They don't kill your pinky toe, by the way. It sits right here. Your pinky toe is right above there. It, it shouldn't mess with it. I have not been this, this excited on a Nike basketball product since like they pro trod the Kobe one. I still think it's probably like the best shoe that they put out. So if this can like knock it off of its pedestal, then good. You know what I mean? That's the innovation that we require as consumers. And again, on top of that, I am now way more excited than I probably should be for the other two, even though I don't jump at all, but like they sound and interesting. There's plates in there, all kinds of stuff. I'm super stoked, man. The run ones look cool too. I can't wait, man. Now, as far as the fit is concerned, I went true to size and that is exactly what I would recommend. Wide footers, this is a shoe that you're going to want to wait, okay, until they're available in store for you to go in, try them on. You can do what you normally do, which is they typically go up half a size, but I'm just not sure. The way that it's curved, you can see it. That might not be wide foot friendly. I know your foot's not shaped like that. You know what I mean? No, so it's like, not. just be patient. You know what I'm saying? Like this might be one that you want to try on just in case. Well, I'm just excited for you and all of your excitement because after all of this time, like think about it, this is what, 12 years of basketball products that you've been looking at. Mm -hmm. And so for you to be so pumped, like the other morning, I've been running for like 10 years now, but I'm in charge of letting the videos go live every morning. And I'm like super drowsy at the computer trying to be clever and witty. And I'm not always putting in that comment. And so the video plays while I'm doing that mm -hmm. and the ads will start before the video. And I'm like, I don't want to go exercise today. Da, 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 da. And an ad for the Under 
armor velocity flow came up mm -hmm. and I need to do my write up on that because it's an excellent shoe and we need to put it up on weartesters.com. But I've been running in those for like a month now and just seeing the ad got me pumped being like, mm -hmm. hey, I got those downstairs. Like I'm gonna go lace up right now. Yeah. And so for you talking about that, like that's how I was feeling. And so I'm like excited that you have that excitement. That's something that was like when we were kids and you would watch Penny, Kobe, MJ, AI, Jason Williams, you name them. Newer generations, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, stuff like that. Like you wanted to go out front and hoop afterwards. You'd be pumped for an old dude like me to, like you were saying, I've, I've played and stuff just on YouTube alone for 12 years or whatever. That's not even counting, like. That's, yeah, that's not counting from middle school, like when I started playing basketball yeah. all the way through. So I've played in so many shoes, so many different shoes, and that's a testament to the people that are behind the product. And mm -hmm. I'm not talking about like the marketing people and stuff like that, I'm talking about the people that came up with this shit. The people that came up with that Zoom strobel. Yeah. The people that come up with, hey, wouldn't it be fucking weird if we did this? And somebody's yeah. be like, yeah, like <laughs> you can't do that. And they're like, well, we're gonna do it anyways. Like it's those people, like thank you for making me excited on product right. after however many years, you know what I'm saying? Like decades upon decades. Like even if you're someone from 1988 or from 85 or before or whatever, you still make us excited for those products. I don't think that these people get enough love and I get it, you work for a brand. So all of the focus goes on the brand, but a little bit more more extra oomph needs to be emphasized on these dudes that make this and so yeah so that's just what it is you know congratulations to the team that created this thing i hope that you guys again are getting your due and i hope that these play really well because if they don't that would suck you know He's taking it all back i know that would be a huge <laughs> bummer um but they feel like they're going to be beastly i'm stoked thank you so much for watching thanks for all the support leave your thoughts on these and the other two and if you are ranking them on your level of excitement which one of the three are you most excited to play in i'd love to know your thoughts thank you so much for watching so until next time guys have a good one you held that for a second. I did. <laughs>